a what's up guys it's MLP fatty here with the swiftest of all the bris the swiftest of all the bris I'm I'm just quoting what he said he said <laughs> he said the thing that was funny <laughs> he said the thing that was funny there's no, there's no need for me to expand upon that whatsoever all right and we are back in Super Mario 64. Uh, apparently Mario is tired, so he's just gonna take a nap. I'm just gonna let him take a nap. I'm a tiger. But uh, the last time we had just finished off, uh, I believe I got the uh, the red the red cap, right? The wing cap. Yeah, you got the wing cap, and you also got the red coin star from that level too. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I can't remember shit. Oh look, Mario is sleeping. He's so Italian and fat. And that puts us at 11 stars, which is a prime number, by the way. For you math nerds out there. For you other people that don't know what a prime number is, it's a number that you can only divide by itself and one. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> Spooky. Right. So, so Mario, you're going to get your fat ass up, and we're going we're gonna to go back to bomb on Battlefield now. You know, one day I hope they burn all those fucking witch doctor mathematicians and their fucking retarded <laughs> math bullshit. Math was one of those things I was never good at at all. As a matter of fact, since we're going off, since embarrassing things from our childhood seems to be a theme here, at least for me, uh, I would like to tell the audience, and Fatty also, if I've never told the story, in high school, I never made it past geometry. Oh yeah, geometry. That was, that was a fucked up class, yo. Geometry is actually not very difficult, it's just that I transferred schools, right, and so I had to, um... I had to retake it because they didn't count the credit for some reason. And uh, that was also the year that I dropped out. So, like, I literally... I, I actually ended up taking algebra in middle school because, I, I see, I failed 8th grade. So I took algebra twice. And then they didn't count my algebra credit when I switched schools because I took algebra in 8th grade, right? And that was technically middle school. So, um... When I transferred schools, they were like, oh yeah, you don't have an algebra credit. I was like, I took it when I was in middle school. They are like, oh, we don't count that. So I ended up taking algebra three times. Oh, jeez. And I took geometry twice. And that was the point where I was like, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to get a job. And here I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so many years later. So, yeah, uh, exactly ten years later. And I'm a successful retail person oh. never like this guy yeah right this guy is a uh, motherfucker this guy is definitely a uh, pain in the small ass I used to always try to carry him down the mountain to see what would happen and he just uh, I don't know if you ever try to do that he just jumps out of your hands yeah yeah so like if you just started to carry him all the way down the mountain which it takes absolutely forever by the way so you try to walk with this guy. Here, I'll, I'll kind of show you guys here. You, you, you kind of take your sweet ass time. But, you know, fuck him. He's done. It only takes three hits. The magic three number. And three is also a prime number. <laughs> Thank you, third base, for telling me that information. This episode taught to you by, or brought to you by, the number three. It's a prime. Just like Optimus. That's just Prime. See, that would be it would be great if we had Theo here because like he would like get a huge kick out of it. Because Transformers. Yeah. He's just so huge in the Transformers. Loves And that. you see No, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. All I was gonna say loves that gasoline melting them steel beans. Yeah, because he's a steel beam meme machine. Oh, and uh uh, going off what I was saying in the earlier episode, like my uh, imaginative like quandaries as a child, um, just thinking about like all the potential things they could have done with this game. So like the red and black bombs. So like the red bombs, they open up cannons and stuff. And in this level, there is a there's a cannon up at the top that you can't get into. It's a cannon that's already out and it shoots bubbles down at you. And like I just like imagined as a kid, it would be really cool. If like <laughs> the fucking like the red bombs started like bombarding the mountain like with their cannons on the ground with like bubbles and shit, while the black ones were shooting down bubbles from the top, like some kind of fucking huge battle. Oh yeah, dude, totally. 
And like I said, it's it's this it's that type of retarded like like kitty ass bullshit imagination like nonsense that kept me from completing games because I was more interested in just like what the game could be in my imagination than like what the end result was. Meanwhile, Man, this guy's taking forever. <laughs> yeah, Cooper the Quick's not really all that quick. I never even used like the the little teleporting thing. I just ran straight up the mountain. I mean, yeah, that you, you still would win. Like you would win just walking up the mountain. I don't know about all that. I do Cooper the Quick. He's he's really not quick. Like I don't know. I lost to him a couple of times as a kid. I don't think I'd lose to him now, though. Well, I mean, yeah, because now you know how to actually beat him. Exactly. Alright, so now I'm gonna go for the 100 coin star in this level. Oh my god! Oh, I thought it was stuck up there for a second. I literally didn't think it was gonna come off that little hill. Did I really just pick it back up? What the? Alright. I've, uh. Never had this much problems with this fucking block before. There we go. Hey, I did that all for three coins. Fuck me. Dude, man, the fucking music in this, uh... Just in this the game in general, too. It's so fucking nostalgic. There was a point in time when I was playing bass when I was in high school, I wanted to learn how to play this theme. Like on bass, like slap bass style. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, never, never, never came to uh, fruition. But I, uh, I thought it would be a cool thing to do. I'm pretty sure somebody on YouTube has done it. Oh, I'm sure somebody on YouTube has done it. And if they, have I could it... probably do, I could probably do like a, uh, a guitar cover of it if I wanted to. Probably sound dope. That would, that should be something for uh, me, you, and Sheldon to do. The oh, bomb well. field. Yeah, dude. Also, uh, something else I used to think of as a kid was, like, wasn't that Koopa the Quick that we just, like, literally just killed? Or was um, that just, like, a random Koopa? I mean, it's just a random Koopa, but I've, I've heard that theory theory. Like, I used times. to think, because, like, that, that Koopa doesn't show up until after you fight, uh, after, until, av until after you raise Koopa the Quick, right? Yep. And, like, he's just there hanging out, and then you can just kill him. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, hey, bye. You're, you're kind of dead now. It's like you turn into like you're a fucking has been and you're just hanging out and uh, like you're trying to kill me. Like I come up towards you and like you give me damage. You didn't give me damage before, so now I have to like take your shell and ride it around and murder you with it. It's very morbid. I mean, hey man, I want those five coins that he's got though. Yeah, exactly. Oh, motherfucker. I used to try to see how long I could keep the shell going. It was never for very long, though. I always loved that Mario could kind of run up this hill to get to the coin. There's always an easier way of getting to it. Yeah. Uh, I usually just used um, uh, long jumps. Oh, yeah. I probably should have done that. That would have been a little quicker. Hey, Mr. Bomb Bomb. Come here, guy. I need you. No. Fuck, come on, Mario. No, oh, there was nothing There's in there. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Alright. It's a fucking red herring. We going up. Up into the sky. I can't... I was trying to remember if there was anything special at the top of the mountain now, but I no. guess not. Yeah, there's... It's not like the other... It's not like the fortress level. Yeah, no, there, there's just nothing up there. They don't make it enticing at all. So look at, look at this little guy. He's just standing here. Not exactly. Here. It's like he's controlling the cannon. Like he, It's like he's there to man the cannon. Bye. It's, but it still keeps firing even though he's gone. Oh, yeah. Good. Now it's going, time to go to the, uh, the island in the sky, right? Oh, hell yeah. Hey, I got the tree. Alright, so now, now comes the fun part. Um, fuck, fuck the star there. I was gonna say you could probably get the star after you, that star after you get the one, uh, one hundred coin star. All right, 
right, so now, now we collect coins in the sky. Or there's the fucking coins in the star. Uh, <laughs> the fuck, I'm folding this in. Uh, <laughs> coins in the sky star that you can get also. Oh, you get the oh you're talking about the uh, when you fly through all the rings. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you can make it. Is there a way to regain altitude like that after? Uh, I guess not. Um, no, not really. I just like to go back into this cannon and shoot myself back up. I think your cap's about to run out, though. Uh, I should be good for another, like, 30 seconds or so. I always thought that's just about how long it lasted, was 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure it's got almost, like, a good minute on it. Alright, I'm gonna fly up there one more time, get a couple more coins. Oh man, can he do it? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> He's got 25 more to go, or it's even less now. Alright, fly Mario back around. Come on, fucker. Come on, fucker. Don't, don't get the middle one. Yeah, there you go. See, I don't get that middle one because I don't want to trigger the, um... Ah, the whatchamacallit. After you get all the... All the, the ring secrets, yeah. Alright, that should be enough. Then you just get the red coins. And then I could just do this. Oh, I never knew about that. Yeah, so if you run around the pole a whole bunch of times, it spits out coins. Now I never knew that. Now it says I'm missing a red coin some- Oh, I know what red coin I'm missing. Oh, and I completely overshot it. No, fuck off, bomb bomb. Fuck off. I don't want your coin. It means that the 100 coin star would be on top of the chain chomp thing. Oh, yeah, you haven't exactly gone over there yet. At least not this time. Alright, there we go. So that's... That's that star. And then I just need one more coin. So hi, Mr. Goomba. You're... Oh, fuck you. Yeah, he wasn't too happy about that. Not, not at all. I like how with this one you can choose to keep playing the level if you wanted to. Yep. Whereas with the other ones, it just makes you quit. That way I get two stars. A strange game mechanic. Well, I guess it makes sense because with with certain stars, you get, like, the layout of the levels change. Yeah, it changes just a tiny bit. Well, I mean, like, for instance, like, Koopa the Quick wasn't there when you went to go fight um, uh, King Babam. So, like, you couldn't exactly do that star. Hmm, yeah, you know what? True that. And, uh, let's see, what else? And also in the, the fortress level, uh, like, you know, after you beat, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, King Thwomp? King Thwomp, yeah. Or, uh, I was gonna say yeah. Wampa Stompa, uh, but the that's... Womp, the Womp King, yeah. I was gonna say Wampa Stompa, but that's actually a password in uh, Star Wars uh, Rogue Squadron and not uh, an enemy in this game. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you couldn't do the, the fortress part. So I guess, in a way, it, it kind of makes sense that it makes you, like, you start the level after you get a star. In some cases, anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, back to Wing Cap Mario. Watch as he flies to the sky. You're gonna fly through all the ring loops? Yeah, and, and that's gonna be the last star for this level, actually. But I'm gonna do it the super cheap way. Can he do it? You can get the top one first and then fly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Barely getting that top one. Aw oh, man, come on, Mario. Oh man. <laughs> oh well, rip that idea. Close though. 
It's alright, this will work out a little bit better. Shooting me back off in this direction. It's weird, you can see like the stars that are not the stars, the coins that are in there that are in the middle that are necessary to get for the star, you can see those from at a distance, but you can't see the coins around it. Yeah, so it's like you just think there's just a couple of coins in the sky when really it's like a huge target. Something to do with like a rendering issue with this game. Makes sense. I mean, it is on a cartridge. Alright, so now that all that's taken care of in there, um, yeah, let's go here. I wonder what the loading time for this game would have been if it was on the PlayStation. Oh, probably minuscule, if anything. I mean, I think they would have tried to, I don't know, probably to make it look better, try to do more fancy shit. Oh, man. This... If it was on the PlayStation, that I imagine they probably would have done a lot more fancy stuff. So this level's awesome, because I love Cool Cool Mountain. Yeah, this is also another one of my favorite and states. Nicker, Nicker Penguin. Actually, both of the, the snow levels in this game are, are my favorite uh, stages. Oh one my that god. Has the maze in it. Dude, this penguin. Alright, really guy? Really guy? Really guy? Yo, this dude is a troll. Come on, mister. I just want to pick you up. No, fuck. Mar, god damn it. Wow. <laughs> you were having so much trouble with this. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck you, guy. I'm, uh, I'm not doing your star. Yeah, just race the snowman. Snowman is the penguin. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the snowman is the guy that you have to uh, complete. You have to uh, get his complete his body and stuff. Like, let him follow you down the mountain. Yeah. Oh, man, super secret shortcut. That's something else I missed out on. Yeah, and then you get up, and then you get up here. And there's another extra one up. Oh, except I missed it. Come on, drop. I always wondered what like what that spot up there was all about because I always try to jump up there, but you can never jump high enough to get up there. Yeah, no, it's yeah, there's just a one up up there, but I I horribly missed it. Oh yeah, slipping, sliding away. Slip, sliding away. Ba, 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 ba. And now you, well, this is actually the one where you got to return the penguin to his mother. Yeah, this but I suppose cool. you still could uh, race the penguin. Fuck. Yeah, if he, uh, if, he if he's not gonna really listen. All right, there we go. All right, so I know there's a way of doing this like this. And if I come, yeah, up... I don't think you can use the teleport. When you're holding in two. I know there's a way of doing this though. I think I might I'm gonna have to be super unprofessional for a second and go take a leak. Oh. Well. Fuck that idea. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can try this one more time, guys. Otherwise, I'll return the penguin the proper way. I promise. No penguins are gonna be harmed in the making of this in the getting of this star. Alright, let's try this one more time. Oh, jeez, little penguin. What are you doing? Alright, alright, we still got him. Not gonna go the other way. Do this... I'm gonna do this the right way. Um, I mean, kind of the right way. I don't know if this is really the right way, but... This is the way that I know how to do it. I don't know, I just go down the normal way. I know you can't exactly take the teleporter. I think I mentioned that, but... Oh, you found my baby. Here, take this power star that I just happen to be holding on to. Yeah, that's weird. Like, where in the fuck did she get a power star? I don't know, man, but she's keeping it in that penguin fat somewhere. I mean, it's not like she's, you know, one of Bowser's minions or anything. She's one of Bowser's minions. Oh yeah, now the big penguin race. So for this one... For this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit odd first. 
Because for this star, I like to get, um, I like to actually get the 100 coin star with this one. But I don't exactly remember how many, how many coins I need. I think it I seems need... like getting the 100 star. The, I'm sorry, I keep saying 100 star. The 100 coin star in this level, it seems like it'd be rather tedious. Um, yeah, kinda. Oh shit! Well, rip that idea. Nice going, fatty. <laughs> So what happens whenever I get to push the Z button to do my long jump? Alright, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna do the race the normal way. Fuck Mario, come on guy. Stop being such an Italian plumber. Man, and the asshole gets a head start. Fuck that. I usually just drop down right about there. You mean like that? Yeah, except I, I don't drop down there. I drop down a, a little bit earlier, I guess. Damn, fuck you. Fuck you, biatch. I like how it takes it like takes him a second to like walk around and chirp a little bit. Oh, and what then do you he mean? talks to you. What do you mean taking shortcuts? Fuck you, bitch. Alright, so we're gonna go do another star then. Apparently dumb. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, cause if you use the, um, for instance, we use the cannon when you're doing, uh, Koopa the Quick, um, like he just says that you're a cheating bastard. Yeah, he, he doesn't gets, star. Yeah, gets all mad at you and shit. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna go do another star that I kinda know how to get the fun way. And by the fun could way... Could you race him again if you wanted to? Um, I guess I could, but I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, it's close, though. I'm gonna try that one more time, because I really want to get that. Are you gonna do wall kicks might work? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite one in the stage. But I like I like getting to wall kicks might work this way, though. <laughs> yeah, and then you have the fucking heart there, so it doesn't even matter. And here's where, like, the camera angles in this game, like, fuck you over. Do you want it from the camera angle from the side, or like, straight ahead, or... Shit. Come are on, just gonna, Mario. Like, the... We got are this. Are you just gonna like, clip through the platform or something? Oh, there we go. I don't even do it like that, I just do like the, uh... Oh, trip jump. Oh! Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This just goes to show you that Fatty is not good at wall kicks. That's the reason why the name of that star is Wall Kicks Might Work. The fuck? What are you saying, fam? I ain't good at wall kicks? I mean, I'm not either. Alright, there we go. I, at least at least I got that down. Let's, let's get a little health back this time. Yeah, I was gonna say, you should've gone for the, the heart. Alright, wait. I, I know another fun way of doing this. Oh, or not. Alright, well, fuck that plan. Hi, wonky camera! Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, well... Camera never really bothered me that much as a kid. Oh, dude, it, it still bothers me. Like, to this day. Hey, there we go. And we were saying during the false start that, uh, like, Tomb Raider came out before this game. And, uh, it still had, like, a way better camera than Mario 64 did. Oh, hell yeah. Much better. Alright, now we're gonna go raise a big fat penguin. Um, yeah. I, I guess the penguin thought I cheated last time, but, you know. Yeah, let's try not, let's just do it the, the honest way. <laughs> the honest way. Fuck you, penguin. Take, take the, uh, can you take the shortcut and... Like, let's see what happens when you take the shortcut. Nah, so when you take the shortcut, the penguin gets all mad and is like, Hey, you cheated again. 
Oh wow, really? Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do it the totally honest way. The way that I know how to say, hey, fuck you, penguin. Very gripping, though. Like, it catches up with you. Yeah, right? Kind of makes it a little bit of a race. This is a good way to get the 100 coins. Well, this is normally what I would pair up the 100 coin star with. So I would go and get 30 coins first, then do the race. And then I would, and like, the coins, like, the 100 coin star would appear, like, right there. I would just run back and grab it come talk to this bitch and then she's just like oh hey here's this one too I always thought of this penguin as a male I'm pretty sure it's the same one that's outside sure at least they make it seem that way yeah I don't know I just always like uh, I always thought they were two different characters of course now the penguin's like did you just assume my gender <laughs> are you gender assuming Assuming me. Alright, so now I'm gonna do the 100 coin star. Nope. Fuck you, penguin, because now I can go as slow as I want. Oh, and I still missed a coin there. Oh, and I didn't jump there. Well, this is going yeah, great. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say, you didn't jump or do anything. Alright, no, I've, I've got this now. In before he falls off the slide. Shut up, fam. Don't be jinxing me. I'm just taking this nice and gingerly. I want to get as many coins. All right, there we go. That's that's a good number. Yeah. Now you just need to get 22. And that's not going to be hard at all because I got this one here. We're just gonna pair this up with the, uh... Red coin. Hell red. yeah. Might as well get my red coins. Oh, don't fall off, Mario. Would've just fucked you in the asshole if you fell off there. Are we gonna go back up top? Come on, go back yep. up top. Fucker. It's interesting how, like, they incorporated, like, the teleportation thing, like, into this game, too, but in a much more underwhelming kind of way because like in Mario 3 like you have to use like the flute to warp and shit like that whereas in this game like you just step in like in a weird place and like oh he he warps to a different part of the level yeah all right so that's number six then we could go back across the oh do I want to do it that way nah I don't want to do it that way oh well this Mario's stuck in the snow Get, he gets his booty stuck. Gets his blood stuck. Alright, I mean, I might as well. Is there a red coin up there? I forget. Yeah, there is. No, on that little island. No, there's not, so I don't need to go there. Alright, so wait, so I go here. I thought you were talking about that one, yeah. I'm trying to think where the other red coin is. The other red coin, I think, is, um. It's up there. No, I already grabbed that one. You already got... No, oh, that one right oh, there. Oh, that one. Duh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, fatty. You know how to play Mario games. Alright. Run back up that way. I think you're gonna make it. Maybe you are. Yep. <laughs> I know I'm gonna make it. I'm fucking fatty. Bitching. Yeah. Look at me clipping through the crown there. <laughs> Alright, so what do I got left in this stage, I think? I think I just have one more star? Yeah. Unless I got are it you just gonna get? Are you just gonna get, um, like, all the stars, like, on the first floor, and then go fight Bowser, or, uh... Uh, yeah, that was the initial plan. Okay. Makes sense. This, like, the one, like, the snowball guy, like, the snowman guy, that's the one that always gave me the most trouble. I never liked doing that one. Oh, really? Never liked it. Oh, this one was always so much fun to me. I mean, it's pretty easy. Oh, well. Come on, Mario, get up. Is 
See, that's a good implementation of like the Mario cam. Where'd the snow? What? Where'd the snowball go? Motherfucker. He rolled off, man. Oops. <laughs> Were you actually trying to get down there? No, I was just trying to fucking uh, phone that one in. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Snowman has never given me problems before. But, of course, you know, making a video out of it, he's gonna make problems. Alright, come on, snowy guy. Yeah, there we go. Fuck you, snowman. I think if you get ahead of him. Yeah, too. pretty sure as long as you just get ahead of him, you're good to go. I think he just mimics your movements or something. There we go. Hey, so Mr. Snowman hiding a power star in his head too. Which makes you think, like, did these did these characters did they find power stars that Bowser had hidden and just took them for themselves? <laughs> yeah, right. It's all like the, all the fancy lore in Super Mario Brothers 64. It's just like so weird. Now I want to try something weird here. Alright, let me see. Are you trying to do the endless stair glitch? Yeah. I don't think it's gonna work. Nah, it's totally not gonna work there. I just wanted to see if I could do it to see if I could just, you know, kinda skip through a bunch of these uh, upcoming areas, possibly. This is entertaining. <laughs> Especially just hearing, like, the, the, the fucking clackety-clack of your controller. Yeah, it does go click and clack just a little bit. So what do I got left? I just got Jolly Roger Bay now. Did you get all the stars in, um, the fortress level? Oh, yeah. Okay. And actually, this one has another fun star to get, too. Which is right up. Fuck you, Mario. Secret star? Yeah. Oh yeah, secret star. And this one is just nice and common, you know? You just swim around, get a bunch of red coins. It's a nice little swimming tutorial uh, that you could do before you go to uh, Jolly Roger Bay. Oh yeah, totally. And you know, as a kid I never really thought of this as a tutorial stage, but it pretty much is. Yeah, like really lets you get your swimming time down too. Yeah, and it teaches you a lot of things too. Like it teaches you like um like oh like a coins can replenish, you know, your health while you're underwater. And like in the end, like it rewards your learning by giving you a fucking power star. Yep. Which is a great game mechanic. So fuck anybody who says this game sucks. <laughs> like it teaches you how to do things, kind of. You just gotta know where to look. Can you get a hundred stars in that stage too? Oh hell yeah! I mean, a hundred coins. <laughs> yeah, a hundred. Yeah. Why do I keep saying a hundred stars? I don't know. I got stars on the brain. All right. So the first one that I like to go for is the uh, well, obviously the pirate ship one down here. But there's a fun way of doing this. Oh yeah, the eel. Nah, so I want to try and get it the fun way first. If I can't do the fun way, then we'll do it the right way. But if you do this just right... I should be able to clip in here, but it ain't really letting me. Come on, Mario. Do it. Do it. Don't die. Alright, he ain't gonna clip, so I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> so you're just gonna die. Alright. Yeah. Just gonna just gonna take that one for the team. 
Yeah, so there's a way that you could kind of clip into like the corner of the ship there, and you swim behind the eel and hit the loading zone for the, um, you know, to get inside of it. But I am not that good at the Mario, so we gonna do this the right way. Like, how much, like, physical space on that ship does the loading zone, like, entail? It's literally where, just where the eel is here. So that should draw him out, I think. I think he has to actually, like, jump out at you. Come on, guy. I mean, I think you might actually have to get hurt in order for him to come out. Oh, I'm pretty sure you just gotta get close to him, and then you swim up a bit. Then when you come back down, he should just be... Yeah, there we there go. There we go. Okay. Only way I knew how to do it was just to let him hurt me. Alright, now I gotta remember the order in which to get these. Nope. It's not that one. Maybe it's this one? Oh, jeez. Oh, come on, Mario, get the... Yeah, there you go. There we go. And then I think it's this one, and then this one... And then it's this one, okay. So as soon as I hit this. It's almost like the next one that you're uh, you're drawn to in terms of your sight is like the next one to get. Oh, hell yeah. And it's like, so in that part there, after you get the last one there and all the water starts draining, you're supposed to do this like little platformer to get up to that star there. But as you saw, I just said fucking swam up there. Yeah, you're like, you can skip all that. Yeah. It seems like that's also part of the game mechanic, too. It's like, yeah, you have, like, a moment to swim up there, and if you can do it, you're a fucking badass. And it makes you feel accomplished for doing so. Yeah, and it rewards you, too, by, you know, making it seem like, hey, you did something that you were supposed to do. Alright, so now I'm gonna get the very elusive 100 coin star in this level. Um, this one is a lot harder than the other one, so I think, I think in this level there's only 106 coins total, or 103 or something like that. So it's like, you can't really miss any coins. I'm pretty sure I missed, oh, no, but there's the Koopa shell there. Can't use it just yet, right? Oh, yeah, you can, okay. Hell yeah. Makes me go a little bit quicker. And that also uh, plays into what we were talking about earlier about like how the the different levels have different like designs in terms of the stage. Like in this level, uh, the stage changes uh, in one part where you're trying to get one star where uh, the ship is like, instead of being underwater, it's on top of the water, right? Uh, yeah. So now, so, yeah, so now the if, ship is just sailing on the top. So if like, let's say, like, you were trying to get the 100 coin star, and, uh, you were playing the game from the pers from the point of, um, well, actually, are there any coins on the ship when it's, like, uh, on the surface? Yeah, so there's two that are, there's two red coins that are floating up there, and that actually, I think, puts it over the, um, over the limit, so you can't actually grab the 100 coin star on the first level of the game here. Exactly, so like, so yeah, so there you go. I don't really know what my point was, so just that, you know, just fair <laughs> in terms of the game design, and like, how you can do certain things getting certain stars and can do certain things doing other stars. Oh yeah, totally. And I didn't mean to get up here, but okay. That was totally by mistake. I meant to go back in the water. <laughs> Like, you see how you can kind of see, like, the red coin down there before you see the shell? It's like something yeah. something else to do with, like, um... Rendering? Yeah. Like, the render distances in this game. Draw distances, or whatever they're called. Yeah, I don't, I don't pretend to know... Pretend I don't to know. either. I, I know draw distance is used more so for, like, environmental purposes. Like, I know the PlayStation had issues with draw distances, like, going back to Tomb Raider. Um... Like, the draw distance in that game was, like, kind of shit. 
Like, you could see, like, the black and, like, the shadows, like, not too far off in the distance. And I guess if you were, like, into game immersion, that might take you out of it, but... In yeah. this game, in, in this game, it's not really so much of an issue. Come here, Mr. Goomba. Alright, I think there's another Goomba down here that I gotta get. Oh, no, but there's the ring circle. Gotta get that. And then there's that star, which we can get later. Yep, that's gonna come much later. I mean, not much later, but it's gonna just come later. Alright, so now I think I have enough coins to where I could get the 100 coin star now. But there should be more coins on top of those docks up there. I like how the sound of you pressing that the button, like, swimming around, just sounds like you're slowly stroking your dick. <laughs> Yeah, fam, I'm not really playing the game. Uh, this is actually all pre-recorded. I'm just, you know, just stroking myself right now. You gotta stop trying to turn me on, fatty. It's not working. Oh, motherfucker. Ah, oh, you fucked up. Boner kill. <laughs> Boner equals kill. Yeah, sorry. And now, like, towards towards the end of the fucking Let's Play, we start cranking it in with the fucking humor. Whereas before, it was just straight-up pedantic nonsense. I'm not saying that. It's still not... Motherfucker. I'm, uh, I'm not good when it comes to, um, yeah, those things. Humor, yeah. I just, I have my moments. Like, I, I kind of have to be drinking a little bit to, like, really... Oh, no, I'm not talking about humor. I was talking about these fucking... God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm totally phoning this one in now. Watch, watch Fatty swim around in circles for about five minutes. All right. Welcome to PFC Plays. All right, I got this. Yeah, there we go. Now I could go up here. Fuck. The show we pretend to be Let's Players. We're absolutely terrible at it. Alright, alright. I've almost got this. I promise on this time I'm gonna do it. Can you do it? Nope! <laughs> you almost had it. Alright, so I'm gonna go do this the way that I did it by mistake last time. Oh, with the cannon? Yeah, with the cannon. Alright, totally got this. Totally. Totally gonna get this. Maybe not. I think I shot too far to the... Yeah, I did. Oh, that's what I was trying to do last time. Ugh, fuck me. Briss, we're just not gonna get on the ship anymore. <laughs> it seems like it. I also need to remind you that, um, it's 8.12. Oh, yeah. I gotta get to work eventually. Unless you just call in and we play video games the rest of the night. Hey, there we go. Wait, that was only number seven, red coin. <laughs> oh god, that's hilarious. Where did I miss a red coin? Uh, there's one off... Uh, to the, isn't there one like on top of one of those uh, stalagmites, stalactites, whatever it is? Yeah, I already got that one. Oh. Oh. There it is. Hi. Motherfucker. Back to the cannon. Yeah, but you see, this this stage only has like 106 coins in it, though. Because I'm at 103, there's another one. And, um, I'm pretty sure I might have missed, like, one down below. Hey, there we go. 28. Two episodes and 28 stars. Hell yeah. Well, actually, I think I, I think I could finish up the rest of the stage before I gotta go. I could do this. I'm, I'm a top-notch Mario player. If not, I'll just get the 30 stars. So now I'm going to get one of my absolute favorite stars to go for. That's shooting myself up here. Oh, I missed it anyway. Alright, so we're going to go for a backup star. Oh, yeah, isn't like the one where like you, you hit the box and just immediately get the star? Yeah. Hey, I actually got that. So technically you can't get that star unless you got the metal cap. 
because the yeah. current's pushing you up, but if you swim optimally, then Mario could just swim right to it, and it's like, oh, okay, cool. I, th I have actually done that before, just swimming at it. Yeah, a lot of people think you need the metal cap for that, which you really don't. Alright, so I'm gonna do this one the right way. Well, I guess kind of the right way. That's by getting up here. The normal way, yeah. And then jumping like that. I usually go for the one that has the uh, the extra life on it. I don't, you can... I don't know extra lives. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I would do. Because you can still jump over there. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, you got 30 power stars. You could go fight Bowser again. Bowser again, even though you haven't fought him yet. Nah, cause I don't. I don't need to fight Bowser. Yo, man, I don't. I don't want to hurt Bowser. Bowser's a cool dude. He he gives he gives me reason to go on adventures. He gives you the suck. <laughs> Bowser, please give me the suck. All right, now 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 this star might take a while. I don't know. This one's actually pretty easy. Hey, man, fuck you. I always have problems with this one. It's get him to poke his head out. Alright, come on, come on, guy. Did I not go low enough? Alright, here we go. Come on. Come out. Come out to play. Hey, there you go. Oh, well, rip. Oh. Went at the wrong time. I like how hurting yourself makes you choke to death. <laughs> Makes you drown to death. Mario's just like, nah, I'm not about that. Or I guess, like, maybe getting hit makes him, like, shoot out, like, or not shoot out, just make him, like, breathe out some of his air. Alright, I got this this time. I got this this time. I landed on the fucking ship. I couldn't do that before when I wanted to. All right, Mario. Do it. Should be close enough. Yeah, don't get too close. Hell yeah, and that's how you do it the right way. That's Ooh, a, that's actually the speedy way too. Hell yeah, making me feel like a speedrunner even though I'm not. Speedrun strats. Well, except for the whole getting in the cannon part. You know, you don't really get in the cannon and blast your way over there. You just swim really quick over there instead. Well, that actually saves time? Yep. Oh. Yeah, instead of doing what I'm doing, blasting my way. I hit the ship again. Alright, I'm just gonna, uh... You're gonna get the, uh, the treasure chest, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the last one. Hell yeah. See, we didn't completely phone this one in. I maybe phoned it in a little bit on the uh, commentary, but ah, fuck. not the gameplay. Fuck the commentary. Oh, well, I gotta make it over there without dying now. All right, let's see. Does Fatty remember? Does Fatty remember? It, oh, Fatty remembers. What? What the fuck? Here we go! Two coins. Let coins. Alright, well, um, I think this is a good stopping point, don't you, Briss? I do so. I do too, as well. So, in the next episode, you will get us see... Oh, wait. Let me, let me get my words right. You'll get to see us take on King Bowser! And I'll make sure that I'm drunk for that one, so I'll be more entertaining. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so I'm Fatty, he's Briz. This is, once again, another PFC Plays. If you guys liked it, smash that like button down below. Leave us a comment if uh, you thought that we were complete plebs, which you definitely should. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Hopefully not asleep.